poppin' YouTube? It's your boy Bass Chico, smooth as ice, twice and nice, and I'm back with another video. Right now, I'm about to react to this video by Trap Geek. This is Young and Ace and Fulio, the Demons of Duval County. It's gonna be the first first link in the description. But check it out, you know what I'm saying? Now look, if y'all wanna react to these videos with me on Twitch, this is my Twitch right here. Go follow me, go show love, you know what I'm saying? And yeah, drop a like on this video. Let's get it, bro. Let's check it out. This is be my room right here. I'm about to shop my house up out right here on the bed. Me and my little brother Quan Quan. I just shot my house up right up. This is my mama's shit right up. They shot my mama's house up. They shot this part right up. Damn. My mama was in there. What the? I didn't know y'all like, look, bro. Until I'm gonna tell y'all like this before we even get into this video. Honestly, I didn't know about Young and Ace like that, like all this stuff until recently, like. Like, what's going on with the diss songs and stuff. That's what I'm starting to know. Like, I just thought, I only knew about his music, him being an artist, and his YouTube channel with his girl. Besides that, I ain't know nothing. Now I'm starting to learn this. I'm like, damn, G, it's crazy out here, bruh. The 18K gang. Investigators say this organization is connected to a string of murders in Jacksonville. There's many names for ATK. This is top two. This is one. Nine people. Investigators say. Well, damn. What the fuck? Hey, this organization is connected to a string of murders in Jacksonville. There's many names for ATK. Ace's top killers is one. Nine people. They are potentially responsible for the 15 murders that we know of. And, and what the? Well. Today we're shooting scenes for um, When I See You, Who I Smoke. Uh -huh. Who I Smoke came out of nowhere. Bro. Went crazy. These niggas. Oh, man. Hold on. I'm going to have to spark up for this one, bro. Hold on. Are they responsible for over 50? Nick, what? Ain't you asleep? Mm. Kind of made it more mainstream to where people who don't even know y'all, they were tapped into it. Did you make them do that? Oh, I don't know. I took it too far when they made a song for a speaker. Once the dead get involved, it's already too far. Ah, what is up, everybody? That is true. In the past few months, the most talked about song on social media is the Hawaii Smoke video from Young and Ace. It exposed the mainstream to the deadliest rap feud that's been going on for years, and it's happening in Jacksonville, Florida. Rappers from there are on a completely different wave, hiding the clues to revenge killings inside their music videos, Man. taking the beats from classic pop what? songs, and trying to rap the most demonic shit over it. Young and Ace and his crew remixed the classic Vanessa Carlton song, A Thousand Miles, and flipped it. Filming at a plush golf course, smoking cigars, all while dancing to lyrics that celebrate the deaths of their rival crew, led by the rapper Fulio out of North Jacksonville. Who I Smoke went viral, hitting 16 million views in one month and getting reactions from all the biggest influencers online. Who I Smoke? Say no. Oh, oh, no. Fulio, come get this nigga. They got Aiden. Aiden caught him 4K. This was wild. But nah. Yeah, yeah, this was wild, though. Yo, why you playing with your top? This is one of the most savage videos I've seen. Just, you know why? Oh, they got they show one gun in the video. But the way they seem to be just nonchalantly have, like, enjoy life while clowning the niggas who died? Man. So Fulio had to retaliate in a darker, more ominous way, remixing a classic Fantasia oh, song yeah, and in the music video, printing out a big poster of two of Ace's friends and his blood brother who died by Ace's side in a drive-by shooting outside a Japanese steakhouse. Ace was the only one in the car who survived. Since then, both Fulio's crew and Young and Ace's crew released this song after this song towards each other, leaving hidden messages in the music videos. Got kidnapped, they found his balls, he was Ryan Corbin. Where is Corbin Johnson? What the 18 year old's parents say they dropped him off last week at a job interview and they never saw him again. Left his house Wednesday night, here's a picture of him behind us. And there's a little in the way of clues as to where he might be. Corbin ass was lost until they found him in that bag. Oh. Corbin Johnson Damn. was last seen alive in July of last year. But then last Friday, a man discovered the, the victim's skeletal remains. And what makes this situation real cold is some of the folks beefing Damn. are literal. Bro. God, I'm, man, this shit is... Look, bro, this is not just going on. This is going on in multiple cities. So now it's just this music stuff got involved. This is going on in so 
man, this is wild, bro. Like, they have so many friends and all, and you, you gotta look, and those are the kids in like a neighborhood or something, so it's like, how do y'all go outside knowing like any moment niggas could, I don't know, could just, it, it's, man, you gotta, so you gotta be, you gotta move smart, bro. That's why that shit is not for everybody, bro, you know what I'm saying? When you get into that lifestyle, you know what I'm saying? Or you choose to be in that lifestyle, that's you. But for everybody that be trying to mimic that shit, if you ain't about it, hey, don't, don't be trying to fake, bro. All right? Get caught up in some shit. Cousins, blood relatives caught up on opposite ends of the feud. Yeah, no, it is your cousin. Hey, fuck your cousin, man. That's a real cousin? That nigga cousin, I'm gonna that nigga cousin. Now, we're getting into all this, but first, I got my guy Millie hey. with Jim Jones for the song of the day. That shit. This is Titan Senses. Remember what, uh... Boy. We gotta go to the biggest city in the country in terms of land size that's not in Alaska, and that's Jacksonville, Florida. Florida's always had a huge presence in rap music, especially in the last two decades. But its biggest city, Jacksonville, never really got any mainstream success until now. And that's all because of these viral diss records between two crews. Young and Ace is the face of ATK Gang, which mostly occupies the west side of Jacksonville. His rival Fulio is the face of KTA, alias Kill Them All, which is an alliance between two groups, Fulio's gang from the north and Young and Reckless, a crew from the south side. What's worse about this beef is the amount of mutual friends both camps had at one point. That's how it is everywhere, bro. Even in Chicago, nigga, from the south side to the west side to the north side, literally, bro. It's just like that. All friends, these guys clicked up with these guys. And everybody that's clicked up, they them that knew each other, used to go maybe go to the same school, used to be at the same park. And then, like, that shit. Sad, bro. That's just, you know... Just the fact that there's so many lives that are lost. You know what I'm saying? That's just, a, just man. We're exactly close, but they did have mutual friends such as Queso, who right now is locked up with his own father, charged for two murders, what was including that? the killing of Fulio's blood brother, Bibby. After Bibby's murder, Queso would notoriously walk around wearing Bibby jerseys, taking photos like it was a trophy. He what? even released an album in 2019, putting images of his dead ops as the cover. Like a Mount Rushmore of fallen riders. Yo! Jacksonville police, or JSO, are notorious for not cracking cases. In fact, 70% of murders. Wait, 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 Ace and Fulio were never exactly close, but they did have mutual friends such as Queso, who right now is locked up with his own father, charged for two murders, including the killing of Fulio's blood brother, Bibby. Ap so he's locked up for killing Bibby, right? And he was wearing a jersey of it and just... What?! Bro. Niggas is crazy. Oh man. After Bibby's murder, Queso would notoriously walk around wearing Bibby jerseys, taking photos like it was a trophy. He even released an album in And put him on the album cover, nigga. Of his dead ops as the cover, like a Mount Rushmore of fallen rivals. Jacksonville police, or JSO, are notorious for not cracking cases. In fact, 70% of murders in the city go unsolved. So folks online came up with the catchphrase, JSO loves queso, for the simple fact that he telegraphs what he's doing on social media. You see how that is? Come in, boy. Come in, boy. All of Queso's songs have millions of views on YouTube, and he was actually very close with King Von. The two had music together. Queso even appeared in that infamous video where Quando Rondo and Von were joking around with each other back when they were on good terms. Dirty ass! <laughs> Queso was there as well. But back in Jacksonville, Queso had a well-known reputation for demonic antics. He famously tried to organize a team death match in real life with his own cousins. This nigga, the way he be explaining shit, bro. 
This nigga talking about he tried to organize a team death match. I'm sorry. This ain't supposed to be funny. This ain't supposed to be funny, bro. This ain't supposed to be funny, bro. But this nigga wild, bro. The way this nigga talking about he like, bro. Nigga, you talking about people's lives? Like, come on, bro. <sighs> Shit, man. Gang, KTA. What's up? Where you at? Come on, that dude on Team Death Match. Right what? Now. Oh, so he Where's said up? it for real. My bad. My bad. These niggas is bro. These what the? F <laughs> oh, man. Like, at this point, like, in all honesty, bro, this shit is like a movie. Literally. I'm sorry to say it like that. I'm, I'm sorry. You, you, it's like a fucking movie. Like, what's going on, bro? Like, this shit is, the, the way the niggas look, but what the, f oh, is this shit just clipped and just, I don't know, nigga. I got to. I'm going to have to watch more of something. Look, I need everybody watching these videos. I don't know if this guy's capping or not, if he's exaggerating. And, you know what I'm saying? I don't want to, you know, say nothing crazy. Link me. Let me know in the comment section what videos to watch or something, bro. I don't know, man. This shit, some of this shit sound unbelievable then. Boom. I, this is like the second time, bro. The shit actually happens. What the? F Look at my cousin. Hey, we looking at my cousin, though, on the towel. He's got an was there as well. But back in Jacksonville, Queso had a well-known reputation for demonic antics. He famously tried to organize a team deathmatch in real life with his own cousins, who repped his the rival cousins? gang, KTA. What's up, where you at? Come on, I do a uh, team deathmatch. Right now? Yeah, I'll see where it goes, too. Look at my cousin. They we looking like my cousin's going to towel. He's got an alcohol. He's got an alcohol. Oh, dang. Good. They got the black hoodies on. That's why. The cousin's wild. on that live was named Lil Nine. A month after that back and forth, Lil Nine was leaving a gas station when his car was ambushed. Shot 12 times from a rifle inside another car. Damn. Sending him crashing into a rental wheel tire shop where Lil Nine was pronounced dead at the scene. While what folks the at the fuck? tire store were trying to revive him, Lil Nine's friend who was in the crash with him was frantically walking around filming inside the store. Oh, niggas play. Play. Oh, niggas play. Oh, niggas play, man. Of course, Queso responded with a video of his own laughing. Get out! <laughs> Get out! And Queso's blood brother, also Lil Nine's cousin, would recreate Lil Nine's death video from the tire shop. Y'all fuck niggas play. Damn. Y'all fuck niggas play. Play. Like I literally got a Lil Nine's friend who was in the crash with him was frantically walking around filming inside the store. Of course Queso responded with a video of his own laughing. And Queso's blood brother, also Lil Nine's cousin, would recreate Lil Nine's death video from the tire shop. Y'all fuck niggas play. Damn. Y'all fuck niggas play. Y'all fuck play. 60 days later, Queso dropped a music video, and in it, we see him putting a photo of his own deceased cousin, Lil Nine, in the microwave. What? And the crazy part is, everybody that's beefing at one point in time was cool. Queso met Young and Ace in the ninth Like, grade. literally, that's all I could say, nigga. Like, I'm sorry. This is supposed to be a reaction video, and it's like, all I could say is what? And because, bro, it's like, this shit is just. These niggas is family, bro. What happened to that? How did, how did this happen? Not just how did this happen, because, like, I'm trying to talk. How does this, how does this happen in families? You're supposed to be closest with your family. That's why I don't know. It's just, it's just some family is crazy. Let me not say something. I'm gonna just say every family got their issues. That's the best way I can put it. All right, every family got their issues, some way, somehow. That's the best way, bro. Disregard what I just said. If you wanna clip that, you know what I'm saying. Make sure you clip the whole thing.
but the rival Fulio likes to remind Queso that back in 2015, he was hanging with them and even had the nickname Six Block Queso for his affiliation with Fulio's gang, Six Block. Even Young and Ace admits he was a fan of Fulio's music before their beef really escalated, but a series of unfortunate events would draw lines in the sand. Neutrals had to pick When riding is your passion, it's real world performance that matters. Oh, pick a size, man. It's most advanced sides quickly. At a block party in South Jacksonville, it's in YNR territory, young and reckless. A crew led by YNR Mookie and his lieutenant, Slugga T. Ace and his gang show up to the party and get into an argument with YNR's leader, Mookie. Shots were fired and a bullet grazed Mookie's skin, with his lieutenant Slugga T shooting back. But Ace and his crew managed to escape the party, leaving Young and Reckless and Ace's crew on bad terms. On top of that, YNR's leader Mookie was already friends with Fulio's cousin. This made it easy for YNR and Fulio's gang to click up, creating an alliance under the name KTA, or Kill Them All, with one enemy in common, Young and Ace and ATK. The trends in Jacksonville at the time were not good. It was marking an increase in the murder rate year on year. In 2017, Ace would drop the song Go to War. This was an open invitation to anyone opposing ATK to retaliate. Not long after, Ace's home was shot up, but the tipping point was soon to come. A few months later, one of Ace's friends was out on a mission, looking to avenge a robbery that had happened to him. He knew exactly where the robber was, on the west side of Jacksonville at Fulio's cousin's house. So he snuck into the house, throwing a brick through the sliding door, entering from the back where he began shooting. No mask, no gloves. Damn. He couldn't get who robbed him, and instead he ended up killing Fulio's cousin, Zion, and wounding a nine-year-old girl. If this Damn. was the start of a war, Zion's death was the catalyst. Not long after, Zion's sister was shot 14 times. See, and that nigga did. Telling y'all, like, see? Innocent people dying. Even the guy, but let me not say innocent people, like the guy who, both of them were innocent. The, those are not the people, if it's people who robbed you, if it's, those are not the people, then, bro. To prevent her from going to and I know it's, it's situations like that are bad in both ways because I don't know if the other guy didn't mean to shoot, like, you know, Maybe he he thought that's who robbed him, or he, you know what I'm saying? Then the other people, the guy's dead. She's hurt. Both sides is just hurting, bro. And testify. She miraculously survived, <clears throat> and young Anissa's friend who did the shooting was sentenced to life. But things were just getting started. Fulio's cousin being the first death in the beef meant KTA were looking to get revenge swiftly. They needed to make an example. Ace's music was starting to pick up steam. His new song, F That, was getting millions of views on Worldstar in mere days. Fans were already comparing him to Youngboy. Then a week later, this happened. Four young men were in this car when they were shot. The vehicle pulled up to their Chevy sedan, opened fire, then took off. And one is in critical condition at the hospital. Keontae Bullock, the only survivor of the quadruple shooting. It's a Tuesday in June of 2018. Ace, yeah. his brother, and two friends were going to Wasabi, the only one Japanese was steakhouse, for Ace's friend's 18th birthday. Everyone was in good spirits, taking photos. It was a celebration. But little did they know, the whole time, they were under surveillance. Rivals had found out their location because of Ace's Instagram story, taking photos outside the steakhouse. Ace Damn. even reported his friends eating inside the restaurant and posted that too. So their enemies waited outside, watching them eat, oh then followed them leaving the restaurant. God. And he's the only one who survived? I'm not to say it like that. I'm not. I, it's just like, for him. I know this nigga's mental is fucked right now. He's like, oh, man. I know he going through it, bro. I know. I feel for him, bro. I feel for him. That's what I'm. Oh, I feel for him. Fuck. My bad, you too. Don't yellow mark me, all right? Driving along the highway. When they got to a red light, the shooters opened fire on the passenger side of Ace's car. Matter of fact, fuck that. Damn, bruh. What the fuck, for real? Or killing his two best friends and his brother, leaving Ace in critical condition. It was a quadruple shooting, and Fulio got the news before anyone else did. 
Except he thought Ace was dead. <laughs> the boy lost the Fortnite man. <laughs> I still cold up my cold football alert, man. Two, three pack, man. Ace pack, bitch. Of course, Ace survived, but he lost everything. His brother and his two best friends. The attention, however, was helping grow his career. NBA Youngboy would FaceTime him to record a song, and it also motivated Ace to make his biggest record ever called Pain, which went viral and as we speak, has 50 million views on YouTube. But the blood spilling was not over. Every time Ace would drop a song, his rival YNR Mookie would use the same song titles to make a diss track. The Jacksonville police even created a whole new department called the Violence Reduction Strategy Team. Wait, 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 no, Mookie. nigga, nigga, this nigga capping. They made a whole department for the, for, what? No, this nigga capping, bruh. Somebody know. Nah, nah, no way. And however, was helping grow his career. NBA Youngboy would FaceTime him to record a song, and it also motivated Ace to make his biggest record ever called Pain, which went viral and as we speak, has 50 million views on YouTube. But the blood spilling was not over. Every time Ace would drop a song, his rival YNR Mookie would use the same song titles to make a diss track. The Jacksonville police even created a whole new department called the Violence Reduction Strategy Team, whose whole job was to basically comb through music videos from both camps looking for clues. The assistant chief even said in an interview, I don't think the primary goal but is But look, energy. nah, for real though, I'm sitting here thinking like, no way, no way, no way they did that, what? Bro, they just doing, they be incriminating themselves in music, videos, you know what I'm saying, all types, so it's like, And it's also like, you would think it would be so easy for these guys to just stop this, right? Oh, they, why did they get watched? Why they, why they ain't stopping? They know I did, 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 did. Bro, it's deeper than that. Hey, but they are making real rap music. And at the top of the next year, in February 2019, Fulio's little brother, Bibby, was the next target for assassination. Bibby was just 16 at the time, and he was coming home Damn. from school one day in his own neighborhood on the north side of Jacksonville at the Hilltop Apartments. He was sitting on a gazebo in the courtyard of his complex with a friend. The two were looking at their phones when all of a sudden, pounding gunfire erupted. Bibby and his friend dropped the phone and jumped. Both started running in different directions, frantically looking for cover. A total of 60 rounds were shot in under 15 60? seconds. Bibby was killed instantly. A year later, when the court documents were unsealed, the police named Queso as the gunman responsible for Bibi's murder, saying that they drove for hours, circling the complex, parking, waiting, until finally springing out and unleashing Draco rounds in Bibi's direction. Then Queso allegedly walked up to Bibi, who was on the ground, shielding himself from the gunfire, and executed him at close range, before fleeing the apartment complex in a gray Nissan. The court documents also mentioned Queso's affinity for wearing Bibby jerseys and posting it to his IG page in celebration. Queso's bond is currently set at $4 million. For Fulio, Bro, like... His Let me get this straight, bro. So, my man's... He does... He, he kills somebody. Allegedly. He allegedly... They, yeah, we gotta put allegedly in front of all this shit. Disclaimer, alright? Put this in front of the video. Um, y'all know where I'm going with this, bro. Y'all, yeah, y'all know. Like, why? Why would you get jerseys after? <sighs> Cousin, in a short period of time, like, I'm disappointed, bro. I'm disappointed. Here, his music was going to the next level. A million views. Back to back, everything, to back the whole, the and whole he was world is just messed up. Fulio was a big deal in Florida, but not quite big enough to be touring the country on his own. Unlike his rival, Young and Ace, who was booking shows in multiple states. Just a month after Fulio's brother died, Ace was performing at a nightclub in Waycross, Georgia. Him and his crew went back to the hotel to relax by the pool when they were suddenly ambushed. An SUV pulled up, and a group of guys hopped out shooting. Queso was there and didn't hesitate for one second to shoot back. One of Queso's boys, Rallo, died at the pool in that shootout. Damn. Only Ace's side got arrested for shooting back. The other gunmen were never found by police. 
Queso would say the quiet part out loud in his song Been Dead, where the lyrics go, Should it kill me in Waycross, they hopped out with the K's. Me and Scotty bussin' back, we were on the same page. That's the same music video where he puts his cousin Lil Nine in the microwave. A month after dropping this song, Queso was arrested for a whole different murder alongside his father, who was charged with accessory act. Hold on, but did that nigga kill that Lil Nine, his cousin too? So he killed Bibby and Lil Nine? I, I think God, from shit. Putting him in the microwave and all that, bro. Mm hmm. Allegedly. Me and Scotty bussin' back, we were on the same page. That's the same music video where he puts his cousin Lil Nine in the microwave. A month after dropping this song, Queso was arrested for a whole different murder alongside his father, who was charged with accessory after the fact. Allegedly, they were getting revenge on a rival rapper named KTA Lil Buck, who dissed Queso's older brother that died in a van full of Queso's relatives when two cars rolled up, blocking them off, and put a hundred bullets inside the car. Damn. Lil Buck was Fulio's close friend, and a high-priced target that ATK got the drop on. Allegedly rolling up at 11 in the what morning the? while he was applying for a job to assassinate him Queso posted to his insta story right after saying I kill a dude then get my toes done Receiving a pedicure with the caption kill a n-word then go get my toes done This wasn't the first hit done outside a job site Another rapper jump out who beefed with young and ace and ATK was killed while waiting in line to apply for a job at an Amazon warehouse, leading to the infamous line on Who I Smoke, where they say, found out where he was working and clocked him out. The war had escalated to a point where, no matter where they were, no matter who it was, one side was shooting at the other, and the other would shoot back. We can count a dozen of Fulio's friends who were locked up, and YNR Mookie, and Slugga T are behind bars too. Even Fulio's girlfriend got shot in the head. Y'all thought I was dead. Y'all ain't understood this yet, boy. And to this what? day, Ace still has a bullet casing in his butt from the quadruple shooting what outside the Wasabi hell? Steakhouse. That's it for this video. She Let got shot and she on. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Wait, 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 wait. Ladies, ladies, ladies. Y'all ain't safe, bro. Y'all ain't safe, bro. She got shot, and she's on their, like... YNR Mookie and Slugga T are behind bars, too. Even Fulio's girlfriend got shot in the head. Y'all thought I was dead. Y'all ain't understood this yet, boy. Until this... She on there basically, like, like clown and laughing, talking about y'all ain't up the score just yet. I mean, and I guess she's talking shit, but, bro, what? You got shot. It can't be... Okay, hey.